One of my friends, Alex, has got this quote which I love, and he says, the heaviest things in life aren't iron and gold, but unmade decisions. The reason you are stressed is that you have decisions to make, and you're not making them. Hello world, it is Victor Two Time, aka The Latin Swordsman. Yes, I made that up. Please don't steal it. And a uh, shout out to Chris Williamson for that particular nugget of information. It really comes down to the choices that you make and uh, obviously the decisions that you make or don't make. And if you're holding on to some certain decisions that you know you need to make and it's stressing you out, it's breaking you down from the inside and out, you just got to make that decision. You got to stop being a little punk about it and just do it. And that's all there is to it. It's really that black and white. So yeah, man, shout out to him. I've seen quite a few of his videos. Uh, probably one of my more favorite podcasts that he's done is the one where he interviewed David Goggins. Really good one. So y'all go definitely go check that out. I'm going to put the link uh, for his channel down in the description below, of course. Uh, today is not a Search Chronicles video. This is simply me, like I said, putting out a video every day for the countdown for the lead up to my birthday, which is in fact only 15 days away. So yeah, um, birthday wishes incoming, hopefully. <laughs> probably nobody. <laughs> But, um, uh, yeah, one of the topics that I did want to talk about today was lowering, lowering, that's a word, right? Lowering your standards. <laughs> uh, this is something, um, that I was talking to my boy Vaughn about again, big shout out to Vaughn, man. That's, that's my, that's the homie I, lo I look to for a lot of good advice, sound advice. He does not judge. He, he does not, you know, say, Hey, you shouldn't be do doing this. You shouldn't be doing that. He understands that everybody has a life to live. Uh, one of the phrases that he said about, you know, people and their opinions, he was like, what they eat doesn't make me shit. <laughs> so, and also another quote he said, I think he said his former instructor used to say this to him because a former martial arts instructor uh, was, how do you eat an elephant? Like one bite at a time. Like you literally have to do step by step in order to, not that you want to eat an elephant. They're lovely creatures, but pretty much when you want to tackle a big problem, you have to do step by step and actually take the time to handle that particular situation. You can't just take one big giant bite and, you know, expect the problem to be solved. You need to take very calculated steps in order to, you know, fix the issue. But yeah, so when it comes to lowering your standards, uh, something that he pointed out to me was people often see the bigger picture and they think, oh, like it's the glitz and the glamor and, you know, oh, I'm going to have this when it's all said and done. But I find myself previously, I was lowering my standards to simply have a small piece of something that didn't even belong to me. And I think that like when he said that to me, I was like, damn, like you're right. I was, I was lowering my standards so much, which I shouldn't have to do. I know what I offer. I'm a very, I'm a very rare individual nowadays. I have some issues, obviously like anybody else, but at the same time, I'm single. I never been married. I don't have any kids running around, anything like that. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not out here, you know, causing trouble and starting fights and doing all this crazy shit, you know? So that's a very rare thing to have, you know, a guy with no kids and never been married. So I feel like that's, I'm a unicorn on this planet for the moment. <laughs> when it comes to my standards, I shouldn't have to lower my standards to, you know, to feel like, to feel loved or feel wanted by anybody just to have like, you know, the forbidden fruit, so to speak, you know? So when he said that to me, I like, it hits so hard. Like, cause at the same time, when somebody deals with me, I don't want them to feel like they're lowering their standards. I want them to see me as like, oh man, he's setting the bar extremely high. Like, am I going to be able to like, you know, do what I need to do to get with somebody like him? That's the kind of vibe that I want. So at first glance, when you come across a situation, you see like the bigger picture instantly, like what you could have, like what that person can offer you and all this other stuff. That's why I like, you know, those, those gold digger pranks out there, they really speak volumes to a person's character. At first glance, you know, you see somebody who's like, you know, a FedEx driver or Uber Eats delivery driver or whatever. And then, you know, the girl sees them get into a fancy car. Or then I'm, they see the bigger picture instantly. Like, oh, he got money. He can take care of me. He can take me on trips. He can do this and do that for me. Not thinking long-term at all. Literally just, you know, what can they do for me in that moment? Very short term. But I want somebody to look at me and take the time to invest in me and know that they're not going to be lowering their standards in order to be with somebody like me. And I feel like for anybody that comes across this video, like, think about that. If you have to lower your standards to be with someone, then it's not worth it. It's really not like you have to know your self-worth. You have to know your value. 
And that's why earlier on, I said my value is the fact that the, the rarity that I am single, no kids, never been married. I mean, I have my own car that's paid for. I have a house that I'm living in. It belongs to my family, but I'm living in it by myself, paying the rent. So I'm doing pretty well off. It's those details like that, that actually get somebody engaged, but you know, personality and you know, how you respect somebody, how you talk to them takes that, you know, even a step further. So I feel like in any instant, when you're looking or when you meet somebody for the first time, and you see the bigger picture, take a step back, really evaluate the situation. I had a situation happen to me recently, like as in the past week, uh, start talking to somebody and you know, things are going good. And like, we were supposed to hang out and I was like, okay, that's what's up. We'll hang out. And I'm thinking in my head, they're going to invite me over to their place. Cause you know, most females feel comfortable in their own home. I was like, okay, you know, I'll just wait for the invite. And they come to find out that person is actually still living with their ex. <laughs> so, and in my head, I'm like, you know what? Hell no. Why am I even going to bother with that shit? You're living with your ex and your ex has girls coming and going too. <laughs> like, no. So yeah, I had to nip that in the butt. And I'm like, you know what? There's too many red flags. There was other stuff that happened too, but that that's a big one. I'm not finna lower my standards anymore. <laughs> like, nah, it's not gonna happen, Captain. So yeah, man. Um, I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm laughing about it because like when you say stuff out loud, and this is part of like YouTube. This is what it's used for on another level. When you say stuff out loud, it it hits even like harder and more clearer, right? If you're having to lower your standards to be with somebody, that shit is not worth it. If you have to change who you are to be with somebody, it's not worth it. I am a loving, funny, a goofball. I will take the shirt off my back to give it to you. And I don't care who sees type of guy. But at the same time, if you try to change who I am to benefit you, nah, I'm not doing it no more. So you love me, love me. <laughs> so, um, and I, I implore every, anybody who comes across the video to do the same. Like hold yourself to a certain standard, hold yourself to a standard. Don't worry about what everybody else does because at the end of the day, your self-worth, your self-value is something that can, it can be taken away from you. I'm not going to say it can because it can be, people can change your mind and make you feel like you're not worth it, but don't let them hold that shit close to your heart and hold on to a strong and as long as you can. Birthday countdown continues 15 days left. If y'all enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, y'all stay safe on the battlefield.